Hello guys! Informative Blocks here, this is another tutorial of the Modern Splash screen series. In this video, we are going to add animation to the app description in our splash screen by using Q Property Animation. So, let's start. Let's animate the app description, create a description animation function, then create an opacity effect object for the background frame of our app by using the QGraphics Opacity Effect class. Now, set the effect using the set graphics effect method, and pass the opacity effect object as the parameter. Next, create a Q property animation object name as geometry animation, and pass the parameters. The first parameter background frame of the app, the second parameter is the maximum height property, the third parameter is the duration of the animation in 1000 milliseconds, and the next two parameters are the start and end values of the property. Now, set the curve of the animation by using the set easing curve method, and pass the in-out cubic curve as a parameter. In the next step, Create another Q property animation object name Opacity Animation, and pass the Opacity effect, Opacity property name, duration, and start and end value. Now, create a Q parallel animation group object and pass the background frame of the app as a parameter. Q parallel animation group allows us to run two animations parallelly. Add previously created two animation objects to the parallel animation object by using add animation method.
and in the last, call the start method to start the animation. Then, initialize the description animation function in the init constructor. After that, run the program. Now you can see that the app description height animation runs correctly. Next, remove the start call from the both logo and app description animation functions and create a new function called start animation. In this function create a new queue sequential animation group and pass the self as a parameter. Queue sequential animation group allows us to run animations consecutively means one by one. Then, add both logo opacity and description animation to the queue sequential animation group. call the start method to start the animation. After that, initialize the start animation function in the app init constructor. Now, run the program. And as you can see that both app animations work properly. And here is another tutorial on the modern splash screen is completed. In the next video, we will animate the progress bar in our app and add the logic for starting the main window after the splash screen. Like and share this video and subscribe to Informative Blocks for more such videos. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.